they have just literally exploded through time, um, a population explosion. It's like a plague of locusts. lionfish reduced the abundance of small fish on coral reefs by 80 percent in just a five-week period. The venomous spines are these tall top uh, dorsal spines and the skin is actually a sheath. The venom is under that. They kind of went up the, the Gulf Stream into North Carolina, established a population over to Bermuda, and then in about 2004, we started seeing them in the Bahamas. If we start losing these smaller reef fish as food to lionfish and the lionfish population get out of control, we can be you know, certainly in a, in a whirlwind for bad things have coming for the reef ecosystem. One of the most interesting but also challenging parts of our research has been our underwater tagging efforts. We use a plastic streamer tag inserted just above the base of the tail. Uh, and our objectives are to look at how much the fish move around on a reef as well as how much they grow. We're not very optimistic at this point that eradication is possible because the lionfish population is growing so rapidly, but also they live down to several hundred feet depth, which means they're below the depth over which most scuba divers can, can have access to them. They are so bold and hold their ground so much that you can literally swim up with a hand net and just scoop them right out of the water. So that means that there will be coral reefs in certain locations where concentrated efforts can keep lionfish out.